Should you get engagement photos? Today, I hope to answer that question by showing you three of the most important reasons why my clients have decided to get engagement photos for themselves. Okay, so what you are seeing right here is me starting a Facebook live session. So I'm going through what it takes to go through an engagement session and what are the main reasons why people do them. Let me tell you a little bit about um, engagement photos if you haven't already seen. There, reducing the volume here. So that is one of the engagement photos that I had with a couple that was getting engaged, uh, that's engaged. And um, these are, I'm gonna go through like the key reasons, how it works as, and then we'll go through the winners itself, okay? So engagement photos, uh, you'll see here, um, some of the key reasons is to give you some practice. I mean, um, this was actually a posed picture she did it and I, I got her make, being silly, but you know, just imagine if, if you didn't practice and your, your, all your photos ended up being silly, right? But uh, you do want to have a little bit of practice before the wedding um, so that you have those moments that you cherish. But this was a, a, a funny moment that we did get to. Uh, also for your announcements um, and your memories that you want to keep. So there's some things that you want to think about for uh, how you would use your engagement photos. And uh, I'm going to go through some of those. Here's number one is practice. Uh, I have a video on how to practice and how to practice at your some of your poses. So look at that on my YouTube channel. Um, this is a, one of the couples that, um, she was actually a photographer, but loved nature and start that. Um, she loves nature and that was one of the areas that they wanted to be photographed in. So um, practice makes perfect, even if you are a photographer. Announcements. So for your wedding, um, if you haven't done them yet, Announcements for the save the date is a really good way of using your engagement photos. Um, you'll see here on the left hand side, this was uh, over here in Mount Baldy, the save the date. And on the right, the, um, here we go, right here, if you can see it, uh, that actually has the date of their wedding on it. And we did another one where there was a, a background where it had a, uh, the scoreboard and we did the scoreboard like that for their actual date. Over here, this is a more traditional um, way of doing a save the date. Um, on the right hand side, you could be creative if you're having a like a creative theme based photo session. Let me move on to the next one. Memories. Um, what are some of the good reasons to, of course, um, have any sort of photo or a memory is to keep keep it as a way to remember how you were. And for those of you who met me in the um, as one of the finalists, um, I spoke to that quite a bit. Um, this couple here, um, he he was actually about to leave for the military, and uh, this is the, their only time that they may have um, been able to have their engagement photos together. So uh, this was a really important moment. You can see here that they're engaged. Um, memories here. This uh, somebody asked me about their uh, their pet uh, being part of it part of their overall experience and what makes their them them. Um, this is their little pet and we were actually at, at Griffith Park. So yes, that might be who you are. So I want you to think about how you can build your memories together. Go to the next one. So how do how did the engagement photos work? Um, I'm also giving you a little bit of time here to for other people to come online. So in, the way that I work with uh, clients is that we it, we build a story together. For those of you who've met with me, know about that. Um, and you could pick a theme. Uh, it could be a theme based like, like the other one, which was a baseball theme that you saw there. And we finally pick a, a date for the session. And then we'll do a viewing of the actual artwork that was created. And that could be, an example would be how it would look like on the wall or even um, all of the images and then you picking your favorites and you get to select the one, of course, that you want the most uh, as a winner of the contest. So we build our story. Uh, this is an example of a silly couple. Um, <laughs> they were just amazing, it was funny. Uh, that is how they are, literally. I mean, they're like that all the time. Uh, I have so many other pictures that are just like that for them. But everyone has their own, um, when you go through an engagement experience with me, you get your own personal story. 
and you'll get a certificate of authenticity if you do get um, one of the engagement stories uh, as one of the folios. So this will be part of your personal experience. Uh, again, a little bit more about theme and location. Uh, if, if you heard about this before, but this was a cooking based theme because they love to cook together. Barbet is amazing. And so is Sean, they both love cooking. And you know what? They cooked me a beautiful lunch and we all ate together and we did a couple other um, photos based on the back, um, more formal. Um, this here is another theme based one and as an example at the Mission Inn, but it was close to October. So um, we did the uh, Day of the Dead theme and you can see if you can look over here, they, their faces are painted and they were in that more of a theme. So we could do something like that with you as well. So how does the session work? Um, the photo session, is going to be based off of where we pick the lo favorite location, where the location is going to be. And uh, you will also see here that I bring my lighting equipment with me. Uh, that's not normally in the photos. Um, that's just there for you so that you can see that the equipment is brought to the location. You don't come to an actual studio. And I go on location with all of my equipment. Um, beautiful couple here. They had to postpone their wedding during COVID. Um, once we do the actual photo session, we're going to be viewing your artwork, right? So this is an example of how we would view it. We'd like to see what it would look like up on the wall. So I would build an example for you uh, on the wall of a large print, and we also can uh, do clusters, and I'll show you that on the next one. Uh, as a, an engagement experience winner, um, and as a actual, if you do get one of our Foley boxes, you do get your own personalized um, engagement app. And that's a really cool feature if you can't, can't read that, but that's an, a little app that you can show your friends and family. Um, you don't have to worry about having that picture handy. Uh, other ways that you can use your engagement photos are my photo booth, or if you do something else at your wedding. Uh, our photo booth actually has the ability to personalize and put your engagement photo on the back. So if you can see, these are examples of some of the ones that you saw before, but these all can be actually printed and uh, put on the back of the photo booth so that when guests come, they can see what uh, you did during your engagement. So kind of a cool way of using your engagement photos. Oops, we'll go back here. Uh, the folio boxes look something like this. This was another theme based one, but it was up in the mountains. Uh, you can see this, they have the rings here. They love cars. Uh, but this is an example of a folio box here that you would have, and you can take all of these images here and one by one place them up on the wall or into a frame. Okay, so I know you've been waiting for this. So I wanted to at least get through some of the, um, the basics of what you're gonna be getting as well as what my traditional engagement experiences look like in uh, my photo session. So uh, the winners of the 2021 free engagement session are gonna be right here. So here we go. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. If you'd like to get notifications of other videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. It helps this channel grow. Again, thanks for watching and keep it epic.